Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Vijay Lakshmi. Today I am going to discuss about machine learning. So what actually is a machine learning? It is a technique which allows machine to learn from examples and experience and that too without being explicitly programmed. So here uh, machine learning is a study of computer algorithms that can improve automatically through experience and by the use of data. It is seen as a part of artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms build a model based on some sample data known as training data in order to make pre predictions or decisions without being explicitly programmed. So here we say that uh, uh, many machine learning algorithms are used in a wide variety of applications such as uh, medicine or a speech, uh, speech uh, recognition and in a recommendation systems or in a self-driving cars etc. So Tom Michael has defined what actually is machine learning. According to him, according to Tom Michael, he defined a computer program is set to learn from experience E with respect to some class of task T and performance measure P if its performance at task in T as measured by P improves with experience E. It means that a computer program is made to learn from examples and experiences by performing some set of tasks T and we are measuring the performance P if its performance on that achieving that particular task T if it is good or if it is bad it is improved with experience E. It means that we users are not writing any program with the help of a trained data set. The machine will try to perform some task and the performance is measured based on the experience E. So that is what machine learning is. So here we are training the model, we are training the machine to, uh, to solve some of the problems without human intervention. So here we know that there is a lot of data in the uh, world that is today we have enormous amount of data generated by people or computers or uh, through the mobile phones. So these data has to be properly analyzed and we have to develop some models which should be useful for the society or any organizations nowadays what they are expecting is they want to apply these machine learning algorithms in in their uh, application so that the task has to be performed in an easier way and the performance has to be improved so in what way we can apply these uh, machine learning algorithms uh, to in, a, in any of the applications to solve some of the complex queries so that is how in today's technology machine learning is booming machine learning and artificial intelligence is booming people are uh, looking for solutions or to solve some of the complex tasks in the organizations to improve the economic growth by coming up with new ideas and new innovations using this machine learning algorithms so here uh, some of the applications where we can use this machine learning is already we are familiar uh, with the google search engine so here that is the text recognition it is also an application of machine learning or fraud detection or in a cancer prediction or uh, diagnosing some diseases in the medical with the help of medical records or any of the recommendation systems what we use even they are also developed based on the machine learning algorithms so in short we can define machine learning as I'll try to put the definition of machine learning into five words as using data to analyze, to answer questions. So here we can simplify the definition of machine learning as using data to answer the questions. That is using data means we are trying to train the machine. We are trying to train the computer with the available data to make some predictions to answer to answer the questions to answer the questions means to make some predictions 
to give some inputs in our in achieving some task based on the available data so we can we can uh, develop a model so with the help of data we can fine tune the model so if more data is there then the performance the, the then the prediction will be better and the performance will be of higher accuracy so here the data whatever we have the data the huge amount of data with the help of the data you can uh, you can develop a training set training data so you can train with the help of training data this training data is you can develop some models and to the more this models can help in predicting that is serve some predictions they serve some predictions when they are deployed they serve some predictions to answer some of the questions to answer the question so here we know that since we have data is the key to unlock the machine learning with the help of the data we are going to develop with uh, we are going to come up with some a uh, training uh, test data with the help of test data and the available data we are going to develop some models these models help in predicting some uh, predictions that is for the some uh, set of tasks through experience and it will answer some questions that is yes or no questions so based on that we say that if you have if there is more data okay if we have more data then better will be the modeling so better modeling and if more be, 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 model is better means then we have higher accuracy so here uh, what is uh, so these are some of the uh, what is a way uh, where what, what actually is machine learning so next i'm going to discuss we have different uh, what is a different paradigms of machine learning like we have supervised machine learning and supervised machine learning and reinforcement machine learning so before going to machine learning first we'll try to understand what is the difference between artificial intelligence machine learning and the deep learning see here the uh, i'm trying to draw the venn diagram the outermost layer here it is the artificial intelligence and the subset of the artificial intelligence is nothing but our machine learning and the innermost layer in the venn diagram that is the deep learning see here guys what actually is artificial intelligence artificial intelligence enables the machine to think like a human it is trying to mimic the human that is artificial intelligence so here the machine learning is nothing but it is a subset of this artificial intelligence so machine learning is nothing but subset of artificial intelligence machine learning provides a statistical tools to explore the data to explore and analyze the data what does machine learning provides it provides us statistical tools to explore and analyze the data and machine learning can be classified into three types we have three different approaches for machine learning one is called as supervised machine learning and unsupervised machine learning and the third type is reinforcement machine learning reinforcement machine learning coming for supervised machine learning here supervised machine learning makes use of a labeled set of data it means that it has two inputs uh, it has two variables one is x is called as the input variable and y is called as the output variable and also we say that y is always a function the output variable the output variable y is equal to f of x so it, y output is always a function of x 
so here it is having some it is associated with some labeled set of data so here uh, there are the examples for this and clearly we will understand in the next coming video and what is unsupervised learning in unsupervised learning we doesn't have any labeled set so based on the past experience the machine will try to cluster or group based on clustering the machine tries to analyze or predict what will be the output of that particular task so based on the experience we does we do not have any labeled data for that so based on k means cluster or hierarchical mean cluster or db cluster the uh, machine can learn through the experience and third type of learning is called as reinforcement learning in reinforcement learning some part of the data is labeled and some part of the data is unlabeled so here in reinforcement learning we can call it as semi supervised machine learning since some part is labeled and some part is not labeled so such kind of applications fall under this uh, reinforcement learning then the then comes our deep learning deep learning is nothing but it is a subset of machine subset of machine learning deep learning is a subset of machine learning this is used to mimic the human brain to learn the model so here deep learning it is to mimic human brain to learn the models so here this uh, uh, deep learning makes use of neural network architecture it makes use of multi neural network architecture like how we have neurons in the brain to take a uh, helps the human to take some decisions while solving some complex problems the same way with the help of uh, deep learning we can we can come up with some models which makes use of multi neural network architecture it makes use of multi neural network architecture and there are different kinds of uh, models in uh, deep learning we have something called as ann ann means artificial neural network if my input is in the number form so if my my input to the model is in the number format then we go for artificial neural network or if my input is in the form of images if my input is in the form of images means then we make use of convolution neural network or else if my input is in the form of time series of data then we make use of recurrent neural networks so here these are the three, three different kinds of uh, uh, algorithms what we use in the deep learning when we combine these uh, deep learning machine learning and artificial intelligence we come up with what is called as a data science so here now we are going to discuss what actually is a data science so why do we want to learn this deep learning and machine learning our final objective or goal is to come up with an artificial intelligence app so that is the reason we uh, learn the deep learning and machine learning to develop a model uh, to solve some uh, solve some of the problems in artificial intelligence for example self driving car self driving car is an example for artificial intelligence where it's already put into existence some of the countries are making use of this self driving car so it is nothing but it's an application of artificial intelligence then what actually is a data science this data science it is a technique which apply which makes use of all these techniques so whatever we learn deep learning or machine learning or artificial intelligence it makes use of all these techniques along with statistics and probability so along with probability and statistics it also makes use of some linear algebra techniques so here it is data science is nothing but it's a technique which includes all these applications along with plus that is 
plus some of the mathematical tools it uses that is probability, statics and linear algebra. Using all this we are going to develop some new models or we are going to develop some new applications that is nothing but we call it as a data science. So here data science is the technique of applying the knowledge of uh, artificial intelligence with the mathematical tools in order to solve some of the complex problems is called as a data science. Okay guys and uh, I hope you have understood. So in my coming videos we are going to discuss briefly about the different types of machine learning algorithms and the techniques what we are going to use in order to solve some of the task and how to train the model. Thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment.